U2 uh, is doing the Joshua Tree 30th anniversary tour. Uh, they made an announcement they were going to be in Philadelphia, which is this Sunday. So a few months back when the announcement happened, uh, I called up two friends of mine because the three of us together went to see that show and left that night just amazed. The lights came up. The crowd was still singing. They ended with 40. Which is awesome. And the crowd is still singing and singing. The band was long gone, and we were still singing, and the lights stayed on. And I was just like, this was... This was amazing. This is the best concert I've ever seen. And I was just dumbfounded for a while after this. So it was a significant show. Yes, yeah. And when they made the announcement that the 30th anniversary was coming around, I'm like, I got to get these guys. We got to get together. We got to go see it together. So uh, before we introduce our contestant, Steve, what's the name of the game? The name of the game is Preston, Cheston, and Steve Blast from the Ass Trivia Challenge. Thank you, studio audience. Let's meet our contestants this morning. Contestant number one hails from St. Louis, Missouri. And uh, yes, his name sounds like mine. We are welcoming Cheston, Chet Plaguey. Yeah. Yeah. Chet, good morning. Thank you, thank you. Good to have you here, sir. Good to see you. Great to be here. Excellent. All right, next, uh, the guy I consider to be my best friend. Yeah. We go way, way back, and uh, we've, uh, well, we've been through some times together. Please welcome Steve Lisek. Yeah. Ready, gentlemen? Yep. Yeah. All, All right, set. question number one. What aquatic alcohol-based contest took place at Ben Aronson's house? That was Preston. That was me? Yes. yes. Pool and the pig. Or pool? pig in the pool. All right, please explain. Okay, so uh, Ben had a, uh, a cutting board that was in the shape of a pig. Yeah. And we would, uh, actually, it floated. So we would put it in the pool, and we'd play quarters on that. Wow. It's similar, but not... Okay, oh. Steve. Steve, I'm going to have to go with riding the 10-speed into, into the, the pool. pool. See, that's what I thought it was. Steve Off is correct. Ramp. Steve oh. is correct. Oh. Now, wow. as with anything we do, it is what I have on this paper that determines that's the correct fine. answer. Yeah. And so listen. it says here, riding bikes into Ben's pool with Bud Light 12-pack boxes on your heads. On the head, remember? And this apparently was captured on very low-definition VHS. Yes. And it had no brakes. And it had no brakes. And I remember after we did that, when Ben's parents got back, what we didn't realize is we were marking up the bottom of the pool oh. with tire tracks. Oh. And there were, there were tracks all over the bottom of the pool. Were these Bud Light 12-pack boxes, were they full or empty? Oh, they were empty. Okay. But, but we fashioned them as if they were a hat. And they went, they, we, we'd put it over your head, like okay. put it down over your like face. Like a protective shield. Yeah, almost like, yeah. A, like a knight right, uh, yes. type of uh, a helm okay. that you would wear. So, As the story goes, and listen carefully to this. A sign was put up across a door about Nan's, quote, good couch. Paraphrase what that sign forbade and to whom it was directed. Steve. Steve. I... <laughs> <laughs> you have to paraphrase. Um, we weren't supposed to be on the good couch. <laughs> what were you not supposed to do on the good couch? Uh... Relationships. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take that! Yeah. As we have it here, the sign read, no semen with the J. <laughs> oh. oh. I, can we get away with that? No. No, no, uh, no jazz. Uh, no jazz okay. on the good couch. Nice. And this apparently, by my information, was directed specifically at you, Steve. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Wait a minute. Who who was Nan? Who's whose house Patty's, was this? Patty's. That might have been Pat. Whose house was this? Sandy's. Is it Sandy's house? I, I do believe. Oh, no jazz. And so you were so it was so common for you to spread your seat around the furniture that a sign oh, had Steve's to be like up. a fire hose. Man. <laughs> the Peter only, North of the group. It only yeah. hurts when I juke. So. <laughs> There's another story. Yeah, um, we'll tell that another time. Where was Preston's band The Image playing the night of Hawk's 21st birthday? Chet? I'm going to say it's the place in Soulard Press. What's the name of that? Yes. Um, the old I just sent house. you the picture of it. Yeah, you did. It was, a, it was an Irish name place. No. <laughs> no. Incorrect. Uh, what we have here is ZBT House. I assume it's Zeta Beta. Oh, my oh. God. At that was his birthday yeah. that night? <laughs> <laughs> this is from Hawk himself, so I'm assuming that's oh correct. Yeah. You all had the same reaction to that. 
That was okay, that was an explain. insane there's a, night. There is a much deeper story. <laughs> <laughs> that was a crazy. Please you night. tell. We didn't, we didn't go to the party. Uh huh. You were too busy fouling a we, couch. We walked. Yes. Yeah, we yeah. walked in and surveyed and walked out. Wait. Did uh, let me let me explain okay. without saying. When you guys went in, didn't you think it was like raining inside or something like that? There was there was, or it was funny. snowing yeah, like or the something. The walls were kind of doing things. <laughs> we may have been delving into yeah. some hallucinogenics at the time. Uh -huh. <laughs> so you thought it was raining inside and the walls were, were bending. Mushrooms were yeah. healthy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so we yeah, we we were we were uh hired to play at this uh fraternity, ZBT, which they said stood for Zibong team. They were the Jewish house. Yeah. The, the Jewish house the Jewish house said all our answers were wrong. <laughs> Zits, butts, and tees is what I heard. <laughs> Okay, yeah. that's Six better. butts and tees. And so, so it was just, I mean, you're playing at a frat house. It's yeah. as party as you can possibly get. And these guys were staying at a hotel room because they wanted to be there for the party because they were living in St. Louis. Columbia's a couple hours away. All right. And so we were waiting for them to show up, and they never showed up. <laughs> well, it turns out they tripped, and they, were, <laughs> they, 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 they showed up. Leave. That was it. All right. We, like, we, got, leave. we got to get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> we have to leave right now. I can't now. see my, pa my yeah. hand, man. <laughs> Gentlemen. Yes, this one, when we actually reviewed this question, we laughed out loud at this. How did Steve earn the nickname Sterno? <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to answer that? I know it. Uh, I, did, you didn't buzz in. No. You, you got it. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Steve used to light his farts all the time. <laughs> And it was a little blue flame that would come out, and yeah. it reminded us of the sterno that you see, which is the uh, liquid, the yeah. canned yeah. heat that you put underneath of uh, little banquets, you know, chafing dishes yes, and whatnot yes. to heat them up. So that's how he got the nickname sterno. <laughs> All so right, but that is, a, is correct. Thank so, you. Yeah. Yeah. Gentlemen, uh, what was the very unradio friendly nickname of Steve's car? Please paraphrase. <laughs> Steve. Uh, see you next Tuesday. Yeah, yeah. yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Steve is correct. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Which car was yeah. that? Yeah. That was the white Datsun 510. <laughs> yeah. Overheated all the time. <laughs> How, and that's why it earned that name? Yes. Okay, yeah. because of the overheating issue. Oh. All right. Which of Chet's nicknames is also an aromatic North American plant of the Daisy family? It's a pretty elaborate nickname. It is. It is, but it isn't. Oh! Preston. Tumbleweed. No. No? <laughs> no. No, 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 no. I remember. Preston. Sagebrush. Yes! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> I don't even remember how we got that. Yeah. Do you? Chet? I, I know. I'm, I remember, <laughs> but I don't remember. Okay. You remember it was Sage, your name, but you don't know how you brush. earned it. Uh, yeah. Sagebrush. No, 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 Sagebrush. <laughs> Chet, that was your one chance to get one right. I, right? <laughs> I, 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 pretty much, I pretty much suck at this. <laughs> name the hotel where Preston and Rochelle got married. Steve. Married? Uh, or the reception. Stratford Inn. Yes. No! Ah! <laughs> Preston! How did you Sorry, not dude. get that? Your wife is here! I didn't book it! She booked it! <laughs> I don't know! I know where it is! <laughs> yes, it is the Stratford Inn, is what we have here. Yes. So Sorry. Steve is the that winner. means Steve is the winner! Oh, God. And who won? <laughs> Thank you very much. It got very competitive in chat. I hope you enjoyed watching. <laughs> <laughs> The Stratford Inn. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to pay for that later. <laughs> All right. Anyhow, uh, thank you to Steve and Chet for being in here yeah. this morning. Thank you, guys. Enjoy the show, guys.